So Team STJ, we are back with a brand new NBA 2K16 ratings video. We officially have our top 10 ratings for the small forwards in NBA 2K16. Now, if you do not see the ratings for the top 10 point guards, we did make a video on that. Just go on the videos on the channel. We've been making a lot of videos, so you might have to scroll down a lot. But we did make it for the top 10 point guards official ratings, bro. This ain't no make made up ratings. Official ratings for 2K16 the moment you load up the disc. We also made a video for the top 10 shooting guards. So if you didn't see that, go ahead and see it. My boy Jimmy Butler's up on there. And Kobe, you already know. But now we're going to be talking about the top 10 small forwards. So as always, we always start from the top, we go to the bottom. The highest rating we have is LeBron James with a 94. The lowest we have in the top 10 is Damari Carroll with a 79 overall. All right, Team STG, what we're going to be doing is talking about all of this. And then obviously, maybe today, uh, 2K has also released a lot of ratings for people who are not in the who are not in the top 10. So if you guys want to see the ratings for the point guards down in the top 10, small forwards down in the top 10s, and shooting guards down in the top 10, make sure you let me know in the comments down below because we got a lot. I know a lot of people want to know about Kyle Culver or Andre Iguodala who's not up on here. So we will definitely get on that if you guys want. But now let's get to this. So LeBron James is a 94 overall. He is definitely the highest rated player in NBA 2K16. Uh, we already know that. Current player, obviously. Player who is current playing I believe the second highest from what I've seen so far based off these three uh, based off these top three things the shooting guards point guards and small forwards the highest I've seen was Stephen Curry at a 93 now in my opinion I do understand that uh, these ratings are parallel based to the greatest of all time obviously Jordan's probably gonna be 99 if I had to guess but in my opinion I do believe that LeBron James should be higher than a 94 I mean, if we're comparing him to the all-time great, I understand, yes, he might not be the greatest of all time, but I do feel that if we're going on that parallel where Stephen Curry would be a 93 compared to the best point guard, LeBron James definitely should not be a 94 compared to the best small forward who could either be Scottie Pippen, who could be either this, who could be either that, you know, we got other people, but I do feel that LeBron James at 96 would be a little bit more appropriate just for the for the type of player he is, so we're going with, uh, you know, for going on the persona and the type of player he he is in the last season he had which he dominated in but anyways team stg uh it is good to see that lebron james is the highest rated player he still has that respect that he deserves he is still going to be unstoppable i'm telling you i was doing work with an 85 uh, with an 86 jimmy butler a 94 lebron james is not going to be human i'm just saying that right now like 94 if lebron james is a 94 uh if you have a player like 95 or 96 like you know hakeem you already know it's going to be it's going to be crazy Next up, we got Kevin Durant, who is a 91 overall. We do know that Kevin Durant dealt with some injuries last year. We do hope that he comes back, and I do, and I'm very confident that when he does return, his rating definitely will increase. We do know that KD is a monster. He's a beast. He's an MVP, uh, you know, last year before Stephen Curry. So I have fully full confidence that he's going to return this year and kill it, and his rating will definitely go up. So much respect to KD. I'm happy to see him over 90. He deserves to be 90. I'd be very shocked if he wasn't. So good stuff, Mike. Great, great call having Kevin. Um, Kevin Durant as the number two small forward in the game. Next up, we got our boy Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony is an 88 overall, and I'm telling you right now, I had the privilege to play against him. I was playing with the Bulls and Stax. Yo, Stax was playing uh, with the with the Knicks, and you know it was cool to play with each other. But I'm telling you, Melo could do work, bro. Melo shot is is crazy he ain't gonna miss an open shot that's something i'm telling you right now so mellow shooting stats are really high uh you know mike was saying he's not gonna make his rating a little bit lower just primarily because of the fact his team sucked uh and you know he didn't really play much uh you know obviously the injuries and all that whatever uh his team just wasn't that best so he's not gonna derail uh mellow's rating you know 88's cool he's carbello anthony he is by far you know a top five small four in the league so and he's been that for the past couple of years five years man so much you know i give respect to see carmelo anthony at three he's still a beast next up we got Kawhi leonard at an 87 overall so he is one less than carmelo anthony but Kawhi leonard every year getting better finals mvp when they did win so much respect to Kawhi. he is a top five small forward by far him and lamarcus Aldridge, bro oh my god with tony parker with tim duncan dude it's gonna be crazy i can't wait for the nba season real talk next so we got Paul George, 86 overall. We do know uh, that he dealt with injuries, but when he did come back, he did have some glimmers of him of himself. Now, when I talked to Mike, he did say since he got injury uh, injured really bad, he's not gonna sig uh, significantly uh, you know diminish his rating to like an 80 or something because he got injured and didn't play as you know super Paul George toward the end of the season, right? 86 is fine. We do know that Paul George is a top 
top top small forward when he was in his prime which he could still be but you know before his injury he was killing the league bro so much respect to Paul George he is an 86 overall next up we have Gordon Hayward I'm very happy to see him on this list why because for a second I thought he was a shooting guard so when I didn't see him in the top 10 shooting guards I was like are you serious bro but I'm very happy to see and realize that's my fault my my, my apologies that he is a small forward and he is in this list he's an 83 overall the sixth best shooting guard in the game uh, I mean small forward in the game for you know current players so that's cool Gordon Hayward always very consistent I never pick him up in fantasy my uncle always does and he always does work with him so that's my fault I gotta start picking him but I did pick up Gordon uh, you know Gordon Dragic you know not, not the super superstars but they do work for him very consistent uh, much respect to Gordon Hayward next up we got Rudy Gay 83 overall uh, you know was thinking he was you know rumors for him coming to Chicago didn't happen but that'd be crazy the 83 overall very athletic he's definitely gonna be dunking he's gonna be shooting he's an 83 overall uh, you know let me know what you guys think about that because we do know Rudy Gay you know, he'll get 20 points a game any any given night. So, I want to hear what you guys' thoughts on that. But, you know, Rudy Gay, he did make the top 10. And he definitely does deserve to as well because he's, he's, like, he's a great player. Very impressed to see Andrew Wiggins in the top 10 as well. Andrew Wiggins was a rookie last year. And we do know that Andrew Wiggins now has made it to the 80 overall category. I do think he's going to destroy it. We don't see Jabari Parker. Uh, reason, or he might be shooting Arnold. But reason why we didn't see him in the top 10 for either. The injury, right? The ACL. Uh, if, that, if, that was, if that's what it was. But nonetheless, Andrew Wiggins top 10 had a great season last year. Rookie of the year, I believe. Uh, much respect to see my boy Andrew Wiggins. I think he's going to do work this year. Minnesota's going to be a crazy team this year. Much respect. Next, we got Giannis Antetokounmpo. I ain't going to try, bro. Uh... Ante Kumpo, something like that. Uh, you know, he's a Bucks play. I'm telling you, I saw the Bucks playing 2K16. They are stacked, bro. They are all like over 6'5 or something. They got height. They got diversity. This guy's a monster. He's a freak of nature, bro. Don't leave this guy open. He can slam in your face, man. So, I much respect to see him in the top 10. A lot of people were very happy to see him. And, of course, Damari Carroll. This guy, uh, oh, wow. Now he's on the Toronto Raptors. Definitely destroyed it last year. Very happy to see the progress he has made. And now he's in the top 10. Now, I know there's a lot of questions. There's so many other shooting guard, uh, small forwards in the league like Andre Iguodala and just so many others so if you guys want to see them make sure you let me know in the comments down below because i do have a list of so many other players i hope you guys enjoy every day they're going to be releasing uh top 10 so get ready for the power force tomorrow and then obviously the following day with the centers but we do have a lot of other ratings for people who did not make the top 10 i know you guys want to know them too like tony parker and whatnot for the point guards and you know so many other players for every position hope you guys enjoyed this video team i say did not want to make this too long but hey uh, this is some crazy valuable stuff we got to talk about bro because these are the ratings that we're going to be using and playing Hope you guys enjoyed this video, Team STG. Obviously, I'm trying to talk a little bit fast. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you guys haven't. And I promise you, when 2K16 comes out, get ready for a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of crazy, a whole lot of awesome. You guys are amazing, bro. Peace.